learning English pronunciation. Today I don't have Aaron to speak to, so I'm going to mostly speak to the club, but I'm also going to speak to that camera because I'm hoping that Aaron will take the opportunity to watch his video later on. I think Aaron had a very good topic choice. Learning a main er ugh. <laughs> learning American English pronunciation. It was very clever, I think, to use one aspect of speech communication, namely pronunciation, as a vehicle for demonstrating another aspect, namely vocal variety. Aaron began by telling us how difficult it was for him to learn English pronunciation. And he took us through the process, step by step, in a wonderful manner, with some really good examples. For example, taking your time, using your breath, stretching your vowels. All good advice for all of us. Aaron was very expressive in the way he chose to illustrate some of his terms. For example, making the language beautiful. He had a melodic sound to his voice. And when he said, make our souls fly, it was very forceful and emphatic. <coughs> For suggestions, for Aaron, for you, <laughs> I would just say work on the flow. Sometimes the language sounds a bit stilted because you tend to attack your words. If you go a little softer in the consonants, for some reason dancing comes to mind. You don't emphasize every step, you emphasize some, and you glide past some of the others. So if you think about it in that way, you'll be able to take the emphasis to where it needs to be. On the other hand, Aaron's voice is very resonant, and I think it's very pleasant to listen to. And today, he used a more intimate quality than I have heard him use in the past. So I think that was really good. Finally, he used humor very effectively, especially at the end. Aaron, where you said, I sound like an American. <laughs> it was funny because, no, you don't. <laughs> but you don't have to sound like an American in order to get your message across and in order to be understood, which I think you demonstrated wonderfully today.